Hi, this is Colleen from Keeping the Peace and welcome back to another episode of Colleen Answers Your Questions. Today we're answering a privately shared question here on YouTube. I'm not going to put her name, I'm just going to put initials NW. And she says, I just found your YouTube channel recently and I subscribed. Thank you. Thank you very much. I was wondering if you had any video that you could point me to that might be helpful on a women's technique for loading magazines. I watched one on racking the slide and found it helpful, so I thought you might have a technique for loading a magazine. My dear husband has no problem, but the last two bullets are always difficult for me to get in. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, I have a variety of magazines here on a tabletop, and I'm going to actually try to point you downward so that I can kind of show you how I do it. Uh, so you won't see my face in this next portion, but I have a couple of double stacks, a few single stacks, uh, several different types of cartridges. So what you're going to see here is that it's not the type of cartridge that matters so much. Generally, single stack magazines are much easier to load than are double stack magazines. So let me very quickly go over that. I'm going to get a little closer here so that you can see this. Single stack magazines are the ones where the cartridges line up on top of each other vertically. Whereas double stacks, the cartridges basically stagger themselves. So double stack magazines generally are higher capacity ones and uh, they're more difficult to load because you're squishing that spring down further. You're getting more cartridges in this space so your spring is having to be compressed a lot further. Sometimes what you'll find is a single stack magazine is still difficult to load. This is the only single stack I've ever felt was difficult toward the end and it's my SIG P938. I have six different magazines for this gun and they are all the same way. They're definitely better now than they were when I first bought them because they tend to break in over time. And something that I have found that helps to loosen them up is just to load them all to capacity and leave them that way for several weeks and let that spring sort of take a memory just a little bit. Uh, and then go ahead and start with your usual rotation of magazines. But even still, after several years, these single stack magazines are much more difficult to load than are any of the other single stacks that I have in our handgun collection. So I'm going to point you downward and let you sort of see what I do. The reason that I'm pointing you toward my midsection is because I generally use my <laughs> my hip bone on the support side to lean the magazine on. This is my SIG P938 magazine. Out of all of my single stacks, this is the most complicated to load. Not complicated, that's the wrong word. Uh, the technique is the same, but what I find is the spring tension when I get toward the bottom is just more challenging. Uh, by the way, to unload a magazine, just grab the rim with your thumb, press forward, and they come out really easily. So this magazine holds one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So here we go. I'm gonna take one out of here because I didn't have that one fully loaded. So here we go. Start out the same way. Hopefully you can see this. So I'm gonna start forward of these little lips. I'm gonna press down and back. First one always goes in very easily. I'm gonna take some of the tension off with my support thumb so that I can press down and back. The challenge here is if you have a tight spring is it wants to press up against you and you're pressing two round edges together so they want to roll off of one another. So it does feel a little awkward. The more you do it, the easier it gets. Now, this one starts getting hard at this point. I have four in there. It'll still hold three more and this is the point where I start finding it to be difficult. So what I like to do is brace that on my hip bone still press down with the support thumb and then I have something to press against rather than pressing in midair against myself I'm pressing that against my hip bone so this is how I do it it might help you might not but it helps me so down and back and I think it'll hold one more actually no that is full all it holds is six I was wrong it's the extended magazines that hold seven so that was my error sorry about that last one I'm gonna show this is a double stack 1911 magazine for a pair of ordnance 
and let's see, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen rounds of forty-five in here. Okay. All right. This one, even though it's double stack, has a fairly loose spring. So I would consider this, even though it's double stack, I would consider this much easier to load than the Sig P938, even though in general single stacks are easier than doubles. Here we go. This is the pair ordinance, double stack 1911. Okay, first one goes in like butter, okay? Forward of the lips, down and back. This one even, you if it weren't for it rolling off of each other, you could do it without your other thumb. The other thumb just helps to stabilize things. So far I can do it in midair. No problem. Okay. Still pretty easy. Really loose spring. And you guys tell me down in the down bar what your experience is with your handgun. Like, tell me what kind of handgun you use, whether it's a single or double stack, and then tell me what's your experience with how tight the springs are. Because that's something good to look into before you purchase a gun. Um, especially if you're a female with what you consider to be weak hands. I'm going to turn this camera back up here. They also make tools for loading magazines for people who find it difficult or they just don't want to waste their hand strength or maybe you have something like arthritis or tendonitis or something going on. I've definitely found that since my shooting days started, the um, speed at which my hand arthritis worsens has definitely picked up. And I a lot of trouble with arthritis in the thumbs and that's probably a lot due to loading a lot of magazines. I still prefer to do it by hand. However, if I'm in the middle of a flare-up of arthritis, I may choose to use um, a Mag Lula, I think it's Up Lula, and I'll put a link down below for Up Lula so that you can see what those tools look like. I'm not going to include that tool in this video because the lady was asking me, you know, what's a tip on how to do it, and I think she wanted to learn how to do it on her own without a helping aid. However, if anyone's interested in a video on the Uplula, I'm happy to do that. There's probably tons of them already out there, but I'm happy to do that if you're interested. So, I hope that video helped any of you who might have been struggling with loading magazines. Again, it's super simple that I'm, what I'm doing is super simple. It's not like groundbreaking information, but it helps me. So, hopefully it will help some of you. If you have tips, things that you do for loading magazines that help you, please leave them down below for other people. And you might teach me something. That'd be awesome. So, I learn a lot from you guys. Thank you all for watching and for hanging in there with me while I've been kind of <laughs> missing in action on YouTube, uh, getting all of our computer stuff sorted out. So, hopefully we'll be back in the swing. See you in the next episode. Bye.